All right, we're back with Keith. Looking forward to tomorrow because today, Keith, was not very warm. No, no. Tomorrow will be better suited to your uh, <laughs> likes. My disposition. Your needs and <laughs> desires. But, uh, yeah, I think a lot of people will, will enjoy it. It will be a, a big uh, kind of push back to summer. First, we'll start with where we were today, which was in the upper 50s. Not crazy for this time of the year. Average high is 61. So, yes, below average but um, not by a large margin. We've got a warm front that's lifting through into New Hampshire and Vermont right now, and that warm front is gonna mean that we only drop temperatures over the first half of tonight. The second half of tonight will actually start to warm up, and that will set the stage for our mild day on Saturday. So here comes the front. There could be some showers, especially in the mountains and across northern Maine as the front moves through. But for most of us, we'll pop down into the 40s and then start going back up into the 50s and near 60 by tomorrow morning. So by 8 or 9 tomorrow morning, we should be as warm as we ever were today, even in the middle of the day. Temperatures start to move into the mid 70s, and I think some of us will see upper 70s by tomorrow afternoon with a good deal of sunshine. Now, we were always looking at some showers coming through on Saturday night, but there has been a, a bit of a change to that forecast in that, yes, there are showers coming through, but also some thunderstorms, some of which could be severe tomorrow late afternoon or really evening. It's after sunset, I guess, at this point. Coming through uh, the interior and the mountains, 7, 8, and then offshore by 9, 10 o'clock at night, and then we're clear on Sunday, but much cooler. So the Storm Prediction Center has actually painted us in a level two, so to speak, risk. And um, the risk here is straight line wind damage, but also, believe it or not, tornado potential. We've got a jet stream that's positioned in the right spot, low level winds that are turning, and, and so now we have to at least look at the possibility of some rotating storms in Oxford County, northwestern parts of Cumberland and New York County as well by tomorrow late afternoon into the evening. So we'll keep an eye on those, obviously, if any of them pop up. Sunday is bright but substantially cooler. Monday looks pretty good, but then by Monday night into Tuesday, showers start moving in. That is what's left of Delta combining with a front for us. Marine forecast sees around four to seven feet. Water down to 55, small craft advisory in effect till uh, tomorrow night at 11 p.m. So the weekend looks good. It's just that this is the warm day and this is the slightly cooler day. Showers in there on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday look good. Perhaps back to some showers on Friday. This is probably a half inch of rain and this might be another quarter inch of rain in there total. Guys, we'll watch the severe weather for you tomorrow. Of course, you know, um, I'm skeptical in the sense that I can't remember severe weather in October overnight, but I'm not skeptical because of the year that it is, so we'll keep an eye on it and see uh, what's going on by tomorrow afternoon.